Right, we're going to have a look at two more color tools in 2009.1. The first one being the channel mixer, which I've got open in front of us at the moment. The channel mixer is also accessible from the Valhall panel using the C mix button, which is the top left. And you'll see over here we've got um, controls for red, green, and blue um, in the base color, and then red, green, and blue uh, in the individual color channels as well. So I'm going to do this on the GUI once again. I have a monochrome mode over here which I can use if I want to monochrome an image uh, but want to be able to maybe play around with the individual values on the color channels. Um, I also have a option to preserve the luminance of the image so when I go and work uh, adding red in the red channel or indeed adding a bit of green in the red channel I will preserve the overall luminance of the uh, of the image so I'm just going to reset that again using this tool in my red green and blue channels I can either add more red to my red channel I can remove red from my red channel or indeed add a bit of green or a bit of blue to my red channel as well. So this can be a creative tool. It's really quite handy, very quick to use. The second tool that we're going to have a look at is in our HLS tools. Once again using the panel, it's accessible by clicking color going to HLS and going back here you'll see we have a luminance and saturation graph in the, in the middle of this tool and what this graph will allow us to do is to change the saturation for particular parts of the image now what we're looking at in the background or, or in this histogram is actually a luminance histogram so the dark area here is most probably going to be the mountain uh, the light area here is going to be the sky and uh, this area here is going to be the other side of the road so I can just click to add points and that will set a saturation curve for me so I can go and oversaturate the road or sorry the uh, the grassy embankment and just about completely desaturate the road area. I can zoom into this graph using uh, the standard zoom keys or I'm using my scroll wheel on my mouse and using the middle mouse button I can also pan around. F will just reset that view for me and if I wish I can once again use my eyedropper to go and select a particular area that I would like to saturate or desaturate. That's it for now. We hope you enjoy the new color tools.